In today's video, I want to show you how to call one form from another form in Microsoft Access. Here's a typical order entry screen. And I would like to be able to jump to that customer uh, with, a, you know, maybe a button and go right to that customer's record on the customer's form. So we're going to go back to design view. And really, we're going to use something that's called the command button wizard. So first of all, in design view, make sure that your wizards are on. So uh, if you notice over here, it says use control wizards. And you can see it's kind of, uh, uh, it's uh, the orange background means that the wizards are definitely on. That's going to help a lot. So we're going to pick on this guy up here. It's called a button or a command button. And I'm going to move that. Usually I move my controls into my header on my um, access form. I'm going to go ahead and click that. And uh, now this is just a security feature. It's okay, it's not gonna hurt anything, so we'll pick on open, it's a Microsoft add-in. And this is the command button wizard. Uh, there's a lot of things we can do with the command button wizard, and, and perhaps I'll make other videos about some of the other functions. In this case, I'm gonna pick on form operations, and I'm gonna pick on open form. So I have form operations on the left and open form on the right. I'm gonna pick on next. Now it wants to know which form I want to open. I want to open up the customer's form and I'll pick on next. Now here's a really powerful screen. It says, do you want the button to find specific data to display? And we do. Uh, I want to go to the customer's record who has the same customer ID as what's on the current order. So I'll pick on next. And now on this screen, it's asking you which specific record do you want to go to? So uh, I'm going to pick on the customer ID on the order form and I'll pick on the customer ID on the customer side. So you're really looking for a, um, a matching field on both forms. It really goes back to the relational part of Microsoft Access. And make sure you hit the double arrow. Now the field names do not have to be the same. In other words, one could be called customer number and one could be called customer ID. As long as the same type of data and as, as long as it's the same actual data. Uh, but in this case, they happen to be the same field name as well, which is always helpful. I'm gonna pick on next. Now, this is a, what do you want on the button? Do you want text or a picture? Let's say text, uh, text. I'm gonna say, go to current customer. And I'll pick on next. Now, you wanna give the button a name. Let's say I'm gonna call that one customer button. Especially if you wanna get into some programming, you wanna give that button a good name. So I'll, I'll call it customer button and I'll pick on finish. Notice how we have a new button that says go to current customer. Let's go ahead and run the form. I'll go, I'll, I'll go in the form view. All right, so let's go to a different order. And you can see that this order has Wellington uh, import right there. And I'm gonna ha go ahead and pick on go to current customer. And notice how that opens up my customer window and it brings up that exact same customer. So it really did work. Uh, now maybe I'll put another button here that if I close it, it'll go back to the other form. So in this case, I'll go back to design view on the customer's form. Uh, I'm gonna use the same exact button. Move that into my header like I told you before. And in this case, we'll say form operations. Now we're just gonna close the form. So I'll pick on next. And I'll pick on uh, text, closed form, next. And we'll call this one the close button as the name. It's always good to name the buttons. I'll pick on finish. Now we have a closed form button on this screen, so I'm going to go ahead and, and run that one. I'm going to close uh, the form with the new button. Now, of course, uh, that, that isn't going to happen each time. It's just that I haven't really saved this form yet. So I'll pick on yes. Now we're right back to the order. Let's try the whole uh, loop out. Let me go to a different customer. All right, here's a customer that says Ernst uh, Handle. I'm going to say go to current customer. And there's the customer record for Ernst Handle. Uh, I'm going to close the form, and it goes right back to the order. So when you go back to design view, make sure your wizards are on right over there. And then you're going to use the button, uh, and it's going to open up the command button wizard. From there, you can uh, either open a form or close a form. And that's how you can call one form from another in Microsoft Access.